and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Rosette. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the unboxing for the All True Winter Cosbox for 2022. Before we get into the video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any portion of this video subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that i'm doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back and without any further ado let's get into today's video so first things first we're gonna back up a little bit and actually choose the items for the winter 2022 all true box so i'm gonna show you guys that now and then we will get into the goodies and how they arrived so yeah let's take you through my selections there are six customizations for this ultra box so i'm going to go ahead and get started so the first set of options i can choose between are the comma home plush throw blankets which is here i'm going to look at view details just to kind of see some further photos it looks so soft and cozy um which i love i'm definitely considering this for sure there's also the sizu cozy poncho wrap gray stripe i personally don't need a poncho um they're not really my thing so I'm not going to choose that one. The Carry On Travel Weekender is really cute. But honestly, I mean, I do want to choose this, like for sure. Ooh, there's even a compartment so you can put your shoes here at the bottom. That's so great. Um, that's awesome. And then there's a yoga mat, which is foldable. I already have my little mat, so I guess I don't need that. And then the last option is the set of two hinged stainless steel containers. So these would be really good for meal prepping, apparently, which is awesome. So my gut instinct is to go with the Weekender bag. I really like that one. But in thinking that I don't need it, like truly I don't need it at all, I am also realizing that these, like the options that come in these like boxes can be really good gifts for people. So I feel like the poncho is something that my grandmother would wear. She would really like. Um, I mean, the throw is cute. But I don't need it. I have lots of blankets. And I don't really want the yoga mat or the stainless steel like meal prep stuff. So I think I am going to go for the poncho and gift that to my grandmother. She would like that. So the second customization here, we have the symbiosis... London. It's a luxury anti-aging skincare set. So it has hyaluronic acid in it and papaya glycolic extract. So it's sustainably sourced anti-aging ingredients featuring a nourishing eye primer and a gentle yet effective exfoliator made with papaya and hyaluronic acid. Oh, so it's like a two-in-one little... That's awesome. So you, you have the exfoliator and then you have the eye primer. That's really cute. We have the Pudis or Pud... I'm not entirely sure how you say that, but it's the Pudis Lifestyle Co. Recycled Classic Slippers. Um, oh, they're based in British Columbia. And yeah, it's like faux Sherpa lining and no slip grips along the bottom, which is awesome. Yeah, you can see that no slip right there, grips. I love that. They're really cute. I already have stuff like that. I know people in my life who have stuff like that, so I'm not gonna get that. 
ooh, a variety tea tin scent by Vad Vadam, India. Probably saying that name wrong for sure. Apologies. And it has two different tea varieties. Great for sipping on or at your next holiday movie night or alongside your winter morning rituals. So what are the ingredients? There is a chai, India's original masala chai, or the classic English breakfast black tea. That is so cute. Okay. That's something that I would consider. And then the Be Home set of four dip bowls. Honestly, I really like these. Based on the, um, inspired by the understated modernity and entrepreneurial spirit of the West Coast, Be Home creates quality homewares with a sea breeze of serene style. Those are honestly really cute. Um, hmm. I don't need skincare. Definitely like paired back. And those cozy socks, slippers, I have stuff like that, so I definitely don't need that. And I have family members who also have stuff like that along with friends. Tea, I have a lot of tea that I still need to get through, so I can't be like buying more. So I think I'm gonna get the set of four dip bowls. On to customization number three. Okay, so we have the Larkin Ives Continental Snap Wallet. That's cute. It's a, in a rich bardeaux. This vegan leather wallet is a sleek, streamlined staple. It has a zipper. Yeah, that's really cute. Um, I like that, but I don't need, I don't need a wallet. <laughs> Then we have the Jules K Palm Beanie. So it's made with super soft recycled polyester and acrylic. This beanie features a cozy cable net material and playful pom pom. Love that it's gray, it's a neutral color, it's really cute. And then we have the Territory Table Runner. So it's bringing beauty to the everyday. That's what territory is all about. They create homewares and goods to help you craft a well-lived life woven into the details of this table runner is a serious amount of love, care, and attention to detail. It's really cute, but I don't need a table runner. So, hmm. Thing is, with all of these three things, I'm gonna put this down. I don't need a table runner, I don't need a wallet, and I don't need a pom-pom beanie. So this is gonna be a gift for someone. I, I mean, winter is coming up. Kind, I mean, this is the winter box. And people could always use a beanie, so I could gift this to someone. A beanie, a wallet that's, mm, I'm just gonna do the beanie and I feel like I could gift that to someone. Okay, customization four. We have the Lameno Treasure Earrings. So it's sleek, smart, stylish, made and designed in LA by an all-female artisan team. These earrings add a little city sparkle to any holiday party look, towing the line between minimalist and statement making. The real rose gold plated brass makes this pair a sophisticated on-trend staple. These are really cute. And then the other option is the Natura Castana Hand and Foot Cream Duo. Deeply nourishing yet quickly absorbent, which is important for me. This moisturizing combo is made from Casana Nut, also known as the Brazil as a Brazil nut, and rich enough to soothe even the most dry, cracked winter skin. I I'm gonna choose the hand and foot cream. Cause you know, I like that moisture. Customization five. So this is definitely like skincare and beauty focus. So we have the Brow Atelier Revitalizing Brow Serum. Okay, Brow Enhancing Serum. So if the eyes are the windows to the soul, that makes your brows the frame. That's really cute. So you put these on your brows. 
and it's supposedly it's kind of helped them grow which is great the next option is the karma naturals festive nail polish bundle so it's a pair of holiday hues soiree red and snowflake made without any toxic ingredients so it's great for an at home mani pedi those are really cute Ooh, shower steamers I love me a shower steamer. Eucalyptus shower steamer set of four transform your shower into a moment of luxury, of luxurious self care with these scented shower steamers. Because why should baths get all of the fun? Yes, I actually got gifted um, some shower steamers recently, and it doesn't hurt to have more, so I'm going to choose those. And now we are on to the final customization. So we have the Woolsey's Laundry and Linen Spray Set. So use this trio of essential oil laundry sprays with dryer balls, adding a little all natural aromatherapy to the wash cycle. That is so cool. So you have lavender, jasmine, lavender and jasmine citrus and you have petal fresh that's awesome citrus clean still breeze petal fresh those are great then we have the net zero co set of 12 silicon silicone uh, baking cups love that baking goods just got a little bit more delightful with these reusable silicone baking cups a sustainable swap made from 100 percent food grade and bpa free silicone safe for up to 428 degrees fahrenheit those are so cute and then we have the mud masky melting mud cleansing mask it's a magical moment of some morning self-care made from moroccan lava clay cucumber and lots of botanicals a nourishing swap for your morning cleanser designed to clean your skin without stripping away its natural protective layer oh so it so it really is a cleanser that's awesome okay so the one i'm gonna choose is the silicone all right now that we've made the selections let me kind of take you through the products that I got and kind of read through with this guide here. The book has like a little bit more of a backstory for some of the companies and the founders as well. So it goes into like a little bit of an interview style-esque um, type of background or article information in there so you can learn more about the ethos and the DNA of the companies that All True has as part of their subscription box. Eucalyptus Shower Steamers by Lujo Bar. It's a Latino owned and run new sustainable packaging system, vegan and cruelty free, clean plant based ingredients, female led small business. The shower steamers help to transform your shower into a moment of luxurious self care with these scented shower steamers because why should baths get to have all the fun? Made with the relaxing and refreshing scent of eucalyptus, these steamers transform your shower into a sanctuary perfect for a post workout wind down or a quiet moment of reflection. Next thing is the Lujo Bar. Um, it's the four eucalyptus shower steamers tells you here it's cruelty free gluten free vegan phthalate free it has menthol in it so every steamer is infused with natural cooling menthol to enhance each sensory experience i definitely smelled this as soon as i opened the box and it tells you how you activate it. You activate it with water. You place at the base of the shower floor or in a soap dish away from direct stream. Make sure your shower is nice and steamy for best results. So it also contains a concentrated amount of essential oils, not ex you know, not intended for extended use. You should not swallow this. You should keep this away from your eyes and skin. Consult physician before using it if pregnant or lactating. It says shower steamer may cause slick shower floor. So I think that's why they suggest putting it into a little soap dish. So it comes in this aluminum type. Woo! You can see it in there. It's like 
You can, you can definitely get that menthol. Yeah, I'm excited to use these. I love that it's kind of like a minty eucalyptus vibe in the shower, making it very therapeutic. The set of four dip bowls is by the brand Be Home, which is a female-led, cruelty-free, and vegan company. It's inspired by the understated modernity and entrepreneurial spirit of the West Coast. Be Home creates quality homewares with a sea breeze of serene style, taking cues from an evening sky or the coastline at dusk. The deep blues and playful shapes bring an elevated sense of polish and sophistication to any table spread. Perfect for party snacks like hummus, dips, or a California favorite, chips and guac. Be Home has focused on building relationships with family and women-owned artisans, groups, multi-generational craftsmen, and independent makers around the world. It's a family-owned company. So they come in this little box, as you guys saw here, which I'm most likely going to put this back in. But it says it's made in China, it's dishware and microwave safe. Yeah, you get a set of four bowls. It's 15 years delivering beautiful, ethically sourced products, purposely designed by master artisans from around the globe home goods with heart so this is what they look like i will say i have pretty big hands so i wonder if i could like measure my hands i don't have a ruler but yeah on the bottom it says made in china but it also has the brand for the um the branding at the bottom says be home it's really cute Honestly, I don't know what I was thinking when I picked these. I, I don't think I thought like porcelain, but they do feel like really nice quality and they're really a little ASMR for you. They look like they're made out of really good quality, um, have a nice thickness to them. The colors are beautiful. I'm pretty sure it's because it's representative of like traditional porcelain like handmade homeware but also it's like i believe to latvian culture for the australian um illustrator for this the intention behind the color and patterning the blue and white patterns are not to traditional porcelain tableware and her heritage is Latvian from the northeast of Europe. So she grew up with graphic folk patterning on uh, textiles and ceramics around the home, which is distinct folk influence in the design. In the end result, it tells the story of the connection between nature and community, which is really cool. So I'm actually going to put these back in <laughs> this cute box. They are really nice, but I'm not going to use them for right now. I'm definitely going to keep them. I think I'll wait till I have my own place before I bust these babies out. But yeah, this is really, really nice. And I mean, they, they came all in one piece. You know what I mean? Like packaging was good to keep these babies safe. The Castana Hand and Foot Cream Duo. It's by Natura. It is a sustainable, recycled materials, cruelty-free, and vegan-owned brand. Deeply nourishing, yet quickly absorbent. This moisturizing combo is made from castana nut, also known as a Brazil nut, and rich enough to soothe even the most dry, cracked winter skin. It's a BIPOC-owned and run, cruelty-free and vegan, formulated with fair trade ingredients sourced from the Amazon, such as castana, acai, yucuba, pataua, gathered by local Amazonian communities. Natura's work benefits and promotes sustainable development for 5,500 families who help conserve the greatest tropical forest in the world. So first things first, we're gonna talk about the hand and foot cream. Sorry, my straps are just everywhere. They're made out of these like, they're made out of these like kind of tubes that like you can really just get every last bit of product out and i love the transparency even on the packaging it says we are vegan we use fair trade biodiversity ingredients from the amazon we work with local communities to keep the forest standing and it tells you that this one is a hand cream along with the amount that is in here and it gives you directions on to how to use said hand cream and it says the same thing 
that like the same messaging about who this company is and what they stand for on the foot cream as well and it tells you up here what the foot cream is and then it goes on how to use it in the back which i appreciate i'm gonna open up the hand cream i feel like for me personally i can never have too many hand creams because i live in colorado it is very dry humidity does not exist so open up immediately, you can see the product and it's coming out. Hmm. Okay. Oops, almost put it on <laughs> the opposite way. Now I have the top on the correct way. But yeah, the packaging, it feels like great quality, which I appreciate. I also like how I feel like when you have hand creams or, you know, creams that are in this kind of packaging, the tops are not easy to take off. They're kind of annoying. This one is actually not bad. It's like easy to kind of grip on and grip off and I mean, twist on and twist off, which I really appreciate. And yeah, and it's also like not as hard, this packaging, because sometimes with these, they can be kind of hard that they, it feels like it's gonna like hurt you. Um, I mean, it could still like hurt you if you do that to yourself, but I'm, but I mostly mean like on the sides here, like sometimes it just like, when you're gripping it, it kind of feels painful and this packaging does not. It only like is kind of sharp here. It's not sharp everywhere else, which I appreciate. So as you can see, it's really like, staying on i've only put a little bit on and then it kind of it just easily goes away you can definitely smell the brazil nut it's like it's it kind of gives you like shea butter scent but a little bit earthy with touches of floral you know accents in there And it gives, it's a very like a warm, inviting scent. I don't know, I, I really like that. Um, it's kind of water, watery. So not, I feel like my hand feels a little bit wet after using it, but you know, not a bad thing. And then the foot cream, I'm assuming is, it's not as potent the scent and yeah the texture is very like it kind of gives like a watery but yeah where it, it feels like you can still feel it on your hands i feel like i would have to wait i mean this is for the feet but like it's the same kind of vibe as the hand cream um i feel like i would have to wait a second before trying to maybe grab a water bottle or a glass because i feel like it would just fall out of my hands pretty quickly so i would say you would need to wait to let these absorb but they're really nice um i think the scents are like inoffensive because they're pretty natural and yeah they're both meant for anti-dryness and just re-nourishing the skin so I feel like it's probably the exact same, like this has nine, like the hand cream is 97% natural origin and the foot cream is 98% natural origin. I feel like it's made out of the exact same stuff. It just probably this one just is 1% more of the natural stuff, but I mean, they're, they're great. I feel like this, for the foot cream at least, you can put this on and then put socks on and it would really, really hydrate your feet. Like a nice little mask, like your feet would really absorb this. So I like this, I think this is great. And then we have the Dozen Silicone Baking Cups by Net Zero Company. It's a sustainable, female-led, small business and charitable business. It's baked goods just got a little bit more delightful with these reusable silicone baking cups, a sustainable swap made from 100% food grade and BPA-free silicone safe for up to 428 degrees Fahrenheit. 
for every order Net Zero Co. makes a meaningful donation to, to Eden Reforestation Projects to plant trees in economically environmentally challenged countries around the world. All of their inbound and outbound shipments are carbon neutral. Every month they calculate their emissions and contribute to support carbon funds initiatives to fight global warming. A low waste sustainable swap for single use or plastic home goods. Next up are these silicone muffin cupcake cups. Oh, you can also use this as dividers in lunch boxes and endlessly rebake, which I love. And it tells you on the box like, all the things that are possible with this since in terms of like what it's made out of, how it's great for picky eaters. It's easy to clean and dishwasher safe. Heats up to 220 degrees Celsius, 428 degrees Fahrenheit, but they come in lots of different colors. So you have orange here, pink, you have this nice little baby blue moment, gray, this orange, and then green. So you get a lot of different colors which I think is fun. I've not seen these. I mean, they feel like good quality. Um, they don't feel like they could tear. Actually, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try for the sake of the video. No, I'm just trying for the sake of curiosity. I'm not like, I'm definitely trying to kind of tear, but I'm not putting all of my strength into it. Yeah, they seem very dur durable, which I appreciate. So I like this. I'm glad I got this. For sure, I'm gonna clean it before I use them. But I always love a sustainable option for the kitchen. I feel like All True, formerly known as Cosbox, is really great, especially for homeware items that are sustainable and ethical. I still have products that I use today from previous boxes that I've had from the past that I still use in my kitchen um, on a daily basis. And I feel like in, in the kitchen, it's a lot easier for me to make sustainable swaps in terms of like the silicone baking sheets. I had that from an Ultra box. I've used them several times. I also use reusable uh, Ziploc bags. I did not get that from Cosbox. I got that from World Market. And I believe you can buy them that same brand at Target. And yeah, so they just have, I feel like the kitchen is very easy to shop for when it comes to more sustainability because you do want things to kind of last for you a long time in the kitchen and you're using things in the kitchen on a daily basis or semi daily basis, at least a weekly basis. Next thing up is the vegan, it's PETA approved, which that's really cool and vegan by Jules K. It is the beanie. Honestly, this feels so soft and it is kind of thin. I feel like, okay, you can stretch it out. I feel like because I have a massive head and also I have a lot of hair, this wouldn't necessarily work for me. And also it's kind of thin. So I feel like this would be great to give to someone else. I think I had that when I was choosing this out that I would give this to someone else. This is also kind of soft as well. This feels like one of those soft blankets, but it's not as soft. It's still soft, but it's not as soft. It still feels very, very nice. And I think it's because it's like a tight knit. You can kind of see like the texture of it. It's really close knit in how the pattern is and how it was made. But I feel like if you stretch it out, it could break. So I feel like you would need <laughs> A smaller head and it says made in China here but it tells you it's made of a hundred percent recycled acrylic hundred percent recycled polyester and it says professional dry clean only so not a ton of information on this on the actual you know thing but it gives you information on the website when you're choosing on all true so which we've gone over but it's it's nice the color is pretty but I think I will be gifting this to someone else. It's by a brand called Sizu. It's a sustainable female-led brand. It's the Cozy Poncho Wrap. So the Cozy Poncho Wrap, it's all the comfort of your favorite college hoodie, elevated with a touch of bohemian style, carefree yet sophisticated. We brought back a past season poncho wrap silhouette in our favorite earth-minded material and a new exclusive blue-gray stripe colorway, a favorite style for both meeting the parents and those chilly home for the holiday flights. It's made with 100% 
lensing, viscose, and eco-friendly materials sourced from trees. The next thing is the poncho, which I was confused when I first saw it in the box. I thought it was a blanket and I was like, I'm pretty sure I did not choose a blanket, but it's kind of like hard to see. So you, you put it on like that has a little opening, you know, it's, it's really nice. It's soft. The quality is really, really pretty. As I said, when I was choosing this, I'm going to gift this. I, th I feel like this along with the beanie are going to my grandma, most likely. She loves ponchos like this and they look good on her. I'm not really a poncho kind of gal. I think the quality is really nice. It's very, very soft. I'm gonna be seeing her very soon, and so I think she would really like this. It's also not too heavy. My grandma's very particular about, you know, the things that she puts on. But yeah, my grandma's like very particular about the things that she like wears when it comes to layering because she lives in Texas and doesn't like things to be super hot. She, she wants things to be like lightweight and breathable, which makes sense. Like she lives in, in Texas. It's really, really hot and humid there unlike here in Colorado where it's really, really cold and dry. So yeah, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned about some products and companies and what they stand for and their ethos and all of that fun stuff. If you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true and stay laughing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.